What is up guys? I'm Daddy Game of Fred and welcome back to another trailer reaction review. Today we're gonna be checking out the what if dot 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 question mark by Marvel Studios. This is like an animated version of what if some of the stories happen differently inside of the Marvel Studios cinematic universe movies. Now there is a total comic book version of this with what if stories happening inside of the comic book versions of the Marvel Universe, not the cinematic universe. Me, the comic book noob, I have yet to touch that series, so I'm unaware of anything comic book related as far as the what if in the Marvel Universe storylines. However, I am a, how would I call myself, a well-versed Marvel Cinematic Universe Marvel fan who have watched every movie and is intrigued on the what if takes. There was like a little teaser of showing some of the art style that was going to be used inside of the what ifs. Nothing big story related stuff revealed. However, this is like the first official trailer. So we're going to throw it back. Let's go back to the beginning. Pause it. No, don't don't start it. And let's check out the trailer for what if dot dot dot. I don't know why I'm saying that dot dot dot. I'm just trolling at this point. <laughs> let's, let's check out the trailer. Go. Yeah, peace. I love peace. I'd be out of a job with peace. It's funny to see this, knowing that this is uh, ah! Iron Man one, right? <sighs> Okay. Do we know each other? Killmonger? Please tell me they got um, Time. this guy on the um, voice. That was Cap. Reality. Doctor Reality. Strange. Okay. Okay. It's changeable. That is insane. Where do you want to be? question didn't it okay was that still this Every guy universe was that black panther as um different. each one unique <laughs> whoa was slow down a little bit there's a few people in the room that don't understand <laughs> not me i, I get it <laughs> okay Ooh, okay Good question. Captain Carter. Captain Carter. Shisa. Her as. I am the okay. Watcher. The Watcher. I observe all that transpires here. Let's go. I do oh, not, we're getting zombies. Will not interfere. We're getting zombies. I guess as... I have to freestyle then. Let's go. Hey. <laughs> hey. A ravager never flies solo. I said, <laughs> Is never that this guy's solo? Uh, Is that this guy's voice? Some kind of catchphrase. That's insane if you recorded this before. Please, I gotta check that. You had me worried for a second. I'm unsure. You guys gotta let me know in the comments. And bro. August 11th. Okay, that's coming up soon. What if? And that was definitely this guy at the end. Wow, that is crazy. Yo, this is like taking a lot more than what I expected they were going to do. They're literally taking like scenes from the, the OG movies and just like, yo, let's redo them. Let's redo them. That's insane. I really like this trailer. This trailer is uh, taking someone, again, a noob like me, and getting me invested into something I wouldn't have thought I would have been too invested in as far as coming from just liking the Marvel movies in a, you know, chill fashion, you know, not too deep into the comic book stuff. And this is definitely digging in a crate. If you like ask anyone that's, a, you know, that's a, that have not watched, a, who have not read comics and who have just the movie knowledge, you could say, quote unquote, of the Marvel Cinematic Universe and the Marvel Universe. This is definitely taking a weird left foot, left stroke approach as far as introducing some of these stories. But again, doing stories that would be blockbuster movies if they did it. But 
obviously just taking the safe approach and just making it into a short anime what it looks like to be tv series i'm questioning whether how they're intertwining all these stories together that's the only question i there's so much going on here that it to me it's it's almost hard to see the you know underlying story of this and maybe I got to look into it and maybe the, there are just one-off episodes and that's what I'm leaning towards because that would make more sense. But this definitely looks like a dope animated, like if it is a collection, you know, piece that goes all together somehow, that would be dope. But this definitely looks like a collection of like little bits of what if happened here, what if this happened here, what if this happened here. And it's raining super heavily in New York. I don't know if you guys can hear that, but it's definitely raining out here. So let's give this trailer a score. If I have to give it a score, to me, this is hype. This is hype, and this is how you sell what if to, you know, the general public. Someone that's not super diverse into the comic books, that doesn't know what to expect from stories like this, that is into the MCU, loving the stuff that they're doing on Disney Plus with the TV shows and stuff like that. I'm someone that's going to be checking for this every week when it drops. And I'm going to have to give this one a nine and to me it's just missing the answers that i want and it could be easily answered by just explaining what is actually we're what we have seen. like is this a one-off is this just a series of what ifs every episode is this a continuous story throughout the episodes it's simple questions like that that aren't answered within this trailer that if i show this to my wife and she's invested in the marvel cinematic universe she might be thrown off by it being a cartoon or animated or the fact that it th those questions aren't answered she's like what if wait does this even matter and i think that's the only reason why i'm dropping the score to me the trailer is awesome dope animation style dope cinematography throughout the trailer connecting everything together i just think it just needed a a way to answer oh there goes the thunderstorm a way to answer those questions without being too explaining explaining you know what i'm saying there's a way you could do that and i think they didn't even try they were like let's not explain it let's just show and while that works in some cases in some cases like this where you, there's just so much questions that you're trying to show and not answer it just leaves so much to be desired as far as what's actually going on so let's pretty much end it there that's going to be my final grade for this a nine let me know what you would grade this trailer in the comment section below like always guys i answer all comments so let's have that conversation down there let me know your thoughts of the what if series and if you have more information let me know let's chat it up inform your boy in the comments you guys know i'm always in to deep diving into the lore stuff like that in the comment section below. So let's have that conversation down there. If you're new around here, consider hitting that subscribe button. Do videos like this every day, reacting to trailers, to presentations, to doing let's plays and stuff like that all on this channel so again consider hitting that subscribe button also hit the like button it does help me out a ton as far as moving the video and to recommend this so other people can check out the videos peace i love you guys i'm gonna see you guys on the next one so let me pause this and let me show you guys literally <laughs> so you guys can see the the rain because this is in So I'm here shooting my reaction for what if, and bro, this rain is insane in New York, bro. It's insane. Thank you, thank you, thank you for making it to the end of this video. If you're not a subscriber and you made it this far, hit that subscribe button. You know you want to. Join the family, ring the bell so you can be notified on the next time I drop one of my videos, as well as hit the like button on this video so it can be recommended so more people can check it out so we can have more people join in the family. If you want to keep up with me on other social media platforms such as Twitter, Instagram, or TikTok or whatever, I'm Daddy Gamer Fred on all of those. Again, Daddy Gamer Fred, you'll be 
able to find all those links in the description of this video and the pin tweet comment on my Twitter. Also on all of my videos, I do answer all comments. So again, if you just want to chat it up about the video or anything, just hit me up in the comment section below. I take time out of my day and literally answer to all the comments that you guys leave me and I love it. And again, let's have that conversation down there. Here are a couple of suggested videos that you guys should check out that may be of your interest. I am a variety channel. I do tons of stuff, tons of Pokemon, but tons of other stuff as well. So dive into these videos. Peace. I love you guys. I'm going to see you guys on the next one.